Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Witness, and this will probably be, sadly, the last episode of The Witness. I don't know. We've gone through all of the lages of the game, we've gone through the ending of the game, we've gone through most of the secrets of the game, and this is the last secret I want to review. The windmills and the secret bunkers. We went over it a little bit inside our secrets video. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out right now. There's also a secret ending to this game. A little little spoiler warning, but today we're going to try to unlock the secret of this windmill. Basically, there's a bunch of bunkers dotted all around the island, six to be exact, and there's little puzzle solutions inside, and by inputting that inside the windmill, you have little secret videos, and I have never seen any of these videos. I think I have opened the bunkers and you know all of that, but I don't think I've actually viewed the video. So today is going to be a special day for me too, and first off, we got to get inside. So first of all, of course, we've got the solution to enter the door. It's a little plus. And here is the thing, the mechanism you need to get the blade spinning. There are obviously two solutions to this. You can go left or right. I don't know how either one is affecting anything, but let's just head into the depths of the bunker. Once we get inside, I'll go bunker by bunker and uh, tell you this, their solution and kind of give you a little summary of the video. Because if I show you the whole video, this is probably going to take hours, this video. Uh, so, first let's just walk down this hall really, really nicely. And of course, there are going to be a few puzzle solutions. This one isn't the, the toughest. It's just, you know, a little one of these segregation puzzles. We've, got, we've gotten very, very familiar with these. But here we are. This is kind of the, like the theater... And obviously, first of all, we need to open up the theater. This is it. This is where you will type in all of your puzzle solutions. That little platform. Also, here's another one of these discarded puzzles where you only have, can't touch one side. But yeah, you have to input all the different puzzle solutions. And basically, it will start playing the videos in this little amphitheater. But I'm not going to do that just yet. There are a few more doors to unlock. I think there's, yeah, there's two doors down here. Here's the solution for that one, and this is a double door, so you can you can do either one of these. I'm gonna show you both. And there you go, the doors are open. I don't really know where this leads. Uh nowhere. Or does it? Wait. Ooh, look, a secret entrance or a secret exit actually, out to this little warehouse place. Yeah, the shipping container. Now we have a little secret entrance, that's wonderful. But now let's start going bunker by bunker and watching some of these videos. Let's get into it. Now before I start revealing any more secrets to you, I just want to thank you if you have supported me throughout this entire series. And I'm actually very, very sad to have to let go of this game. Not only because it is one of the most well-crafted games I've ever seen. Like, this game is amazing visually and through the puzzles. But... You know, it's kind of grown on me. We've done a lot of episodes, we've done a lot of these puzzles. But let's start just jumping into these videos. Here's the first one. This is the first puzzle solution. I remember we did this in the first ever episode. Just going to give you a second to look at it. Pause the video if you want to get the solution. Because, you know, these are some complicated puzzles. And if you really know your knowledge of the game, then you won't struggle. But, you know, if you need a guide, here it is. And here's this first puzzle solution. And this is going to be, I don't know what angle you have to look at it from. Don't worry, we'll figure it out later. But yeah, this is the first briefcase, the first puzzle that you're going to have to input for the video. Okay, now that we have got that first puzzle solution, let us put it into the system. And the theater should activate. And there we go, the first puzzle is recorded. Okay, let me, ju let me just pause here. I have no clue who that guy is, but he is looking beautiful. I don't think I can show the actual video because my audio, I don't think, can handle that. But I'm going to watch it, and I'll give you a little summary at the end, okay? Okay, so basically that first one told that beautiful, handsome man talked about truth and knowledge. And basically how art and all of those things that humans create are just an interpretation of the world. And it really says more about the artist or about the, the painter or the person who made that art than about the world itself and that the most important way to actually understand what the world itself is is to change your perspective to understand what creates change and then start asking the correct questions 
you need to not only understand how change works and but you need to acknowledge the fact that you can learn anything as long as number one you put in enough effort and number two you know which questions to ask and the most important way to do that is to have people around you who know the explanations to your questions so anytime you have a question about the world you can go to that person because you need to understand that the people interpreting the world are cool and all but people like scientists that are trying to find out the truth those possess the knowledge to help us learn more about the world. Wow, that came from a very handsome guy. Not me, him. I was just giving my little summary. Okay, let's go and find the second video. Okay, here is the next secret bunker. It's actually near the Desert Temple, which we actually solved in the second episode. Or the first one, can't remember. But here we go, there's a little staircase somewhere here. Let me try to find it, there it is. So I go down, and here is this puzzle solution. This is utilizing the, obviously, the hexagons and the Tetris blocks, I guess you can call them. And these are, as I said before in the town episode, these are some of my favorite puzzle types. But let me show you the solution to this one. So here we go. Not only did you have to collect every single one of those black hexagons, but you really, really had to put your knowledge to the test of how to set these Tetris blocks aside. Yeah, that, now that was tough, but here... Is the next briefcase. Where do I open this from? Okay, from the back. Shablam. Opens up. Everything unfolds. Here's the next one. Again, I don't know what perspective we have to look at this from, but when we get down there to the windmill, we'll find out. Is there something secret here? No. But okay, let me show you the video, and then let's move on to bunker number three. Okay, guys, so here we are. We have just gotten that solution from the desert temple bunker place thing. And here it is, very, very simple, boom, 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 boom. And the next video starting, it looks pretty old, it looks like black and white. Again, I'm gonna watch it and give you a little of my interpretation. I know that the last video was talking about how interpretation kind of tells more about the person, but this is pretty accurate summaries. Okay then, so I just watched through that second video, and it was, it was pretty long, much longer than the first one, but it was equally as interesting because it was divided into two parts the first part was a lecture uh, i forgot the guy's name is like richard flame man i'm pretty sure yeah you can search it up later but basically what's going what he said was that our understanding of the world is built up in some kind of hierarchy and basically every single level there's some specificity to it so for example at the very bottom our world is made up of atoms then you start going up and it's like all these little chains that are starting to form with the atoms to create different elements. Then the elements are coming together to form molecules. And then that goes all the way up to like, uh, to cells, to humans, to our, our whole world. And basically, it's not important if you're at any, if you study any one of the ends. It's not important if you understand completely the human part or completely the atom part. Because to actually understand the world, you need to have a grasp of everything in the middle too. You need to understand not only how the cells are formed or, or how the human is formed, but to know about the organs, the organ system. Because then, only then, do you understand how the world is interconnected, how every single aspect of it is in some way connected. The second part was an interview with the, the same person. And basically in it, he said that sometimes ignorance is bliss. That was basically it. You don't have to know anything because you might be completely wrong if you just start assuming things. Sometimes it's better to have doubt, because then maybe the things that you actually know are true. And then by slowly figuring things out, then it's better to not know, than to know something wrong. But wow, that one was interesting. If you guys want, you can check out the videos. There are many videos out there for these, all of these little clips. But now let's move on to number three. Now, this next puzzle, or this next bunker opening solution, you have to go next to the monastery, I'll show you in a second, but basically you have to find the perfect set of branches that will kind of align themselves to open up the door. So, this is, I found the branches, but I've already opened the door. So, I'm just going to go down and show you, but yeah, it's on this little ledge above. Also, this little door I found. But yeah, you have to go up through the jungle, then, uh... If you open this doorway, that shouldn't be a problem, but then you, uh, if you didn't, you have to go up through the jungle, you have to go down this path, and here's going to be the door. This is the solution right here. There's a little, little hexagon in the middle, and black and white. It's a very simple puzzle, 
but this only this solution will unlock the door. Now let's descend into the depths of this place. I don't even know what to call it. And here is our next little briefcase. Let's just go hop oh, am Beautiful. There it is. It's basically a whole little line all across that what is this? An octagon, hexagon, yeah. It's a little line all across this hexagon. And yeah. So let's see what this video has to hold and then move on to the next one. Okay, so this next one, this next little clip that we have here, I actually had to do a little extra research on because it was extremely confusing. It's from a movie called Nostalgia. Uh, yeah, spelled N-O-S-T-A-L-G-H-I-A. -A. And basically, this in this sequence, there was a man walking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with a torch or a candle. And basically, he was trying not to let it extinguish. Once it, once it went out, he had to go back and then there was a woman a child a man with sitting with a dog some castle some house very very confusing but the words at the end said uh it said dedicated to the memory of my mother so carrying a torch for somebody basically means that you love them and I think he was trying to remember the memory of his mother and honor it by carrying that torch. It was extremely confusing, especially that it was coming from a full-length movie and it was like a nine-minute clip. But yeah, as soon as he placed down that torch, he he was happy. He he was like, <gasps> and then it ended. And then there were just some random sequence of events and then a beautiful, I think, Russian song. Very interesting. But now let's move on. And actually, something I do have to tell you about this fourth one uh, this fourth little, you know, bunker challenge. The bunker isn't actually, you know, just have one puzzle behind it. It is the challenge. This fourth video, you have to complete the challenge to get it. And I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I think you can obviously tell why. If I did do it, this would have been like three hours long. So I'm just going to show you the solution. I'm going to give you the little summary of the video. And... If you have the game, you can go and figure out the challenge on your own. Actually, one of the passageways of it is up there, and at the end of that corridor. The challenge goes all over the map. Anyway, let's go. Wow. Wow. This, this, for, for completing the challenge, for completing the final challenge of the game, you get this little solution right here, and you might think it's extremely simple. It's an hour-long talk. And uh, I didn't listen through all of it, but I do have some summaries. I was doing some research on it. If you guys do want to re listen to it yourself and figure some things out, it's called The Secret of Psalm 46. Psalm is, I don't know how to say, but it's spelled P-S-A-L-M. Anyway, what one, one of the greatest quotes from this little talk, let me read it to you. Now please, don't come away from this lecture thinking that the key to awesome game design is the installation of Easter eggs. Ordinary games with their contrived Easter eggs and cheat codes are like the Battery of the Monk Club. You have to trudge down to the backs of the store to get what you really came for. If superpowers are what people really want, why not just give it to them? Is our imagination so impoverished that we have to resort to marketing gimmicks to keep players interested in our games? Awesome things don't hold anything back. Awesome things are rich and generous. The treasure is right there. And those last three lines, absolutely beautiful. This challenge, it is the absolute final challenge of the game. It is where you combine all of your skills of the game. It's, a, it's not even a secret anyway. You can just walk up and after completing all the 11 the lasers, you can just walk up, do it any time you want. And yet, this is the reward you get. You get a talk that is saying how secrets in the game aren't supposed to be actually there to make the game good. Because if a game is good, it is good. It doesn't need any secrets to justify itself. And I think that's what's really this game is trying to prove. It is based on that belief that a game doesn't have to have a lot of secrets to be the best it can be. The secrets in this game are completely optional. Everything in this game is completely optional. You as the player decide where the treasure in this game is. You as the player decide what you think the best experience is. And everything in this game is in plain view. You just need to look at it from the right perspective. This game was based on that foundation, that's why it's so amazing. Everything here is made with such, to such a degree where it will make the actual playing experience so amazing, you don't need any secrets. The final secret of the game, the final challenge, is telling you 
you have been enjoying it all, all along, or else it wouldn't be an amazing game. And I think that's really inspirational, especially for future game designers. Try not to add a lot of secrets into your game because it's not necessary. If your game is awesome, your game is awesome. And I think that's a very fitting reward for the ultimate challenge of the of the ending. The ultimate challenge. The ultimate challenge, you complete it, and this is what you get. If you guys do want to listen again, you, it's the, the secret of Psalm 46. I don't know what Psalm 46 is. I am not very religious, but if you want to check it out, Go check it out, do your own, you know, analysis, but that's what I get from it. If you, this actually applies to any content, if you make something amazing, don't try to cover it up with little tiny secrets. Just allow it to be amazing, and then you'll be making what you are truly destined to be making. Wow. These vaults are really giving us a run for our money because we have to explore the whole map to get to them like literally right now we're on a shipwreck to get to the shipwreck you actually have to go through the keep if you remember that yeah there's a little back entrance you have to go across this whole ship and basically when you're here at the very top well not at the very top but like at the very edge of the shipwreck there's a little staircase down so yeah these these, these secrets are really making us go across the map and i don't think you'll find them if you're not looking but yeah, you go downstairs, and here is this door. This is another one of those sound puzzles, and you're going to solve them with the swooshing of the waves, I guess you could say. And you don't need to collect this black, you know, this black hexagon. Like, for the first time ever, you don't need to collect this black hexagon. You do need to collect this one, though. And you're basically going to listen for the pitch of the waves, I guess you can call it, and then find the, the one that actually not only solves the puzzle, but does there we go there's a solution but actually it does coincide with the sounds you're hearing but here's another solution it looks like um uh, an object I don't, I don't want to say the name of you know uh people people have it yeah but um yeah this is the fifth one the fourth one the one before was the challenge you literally have to complete the challenge to get that one and now let's move on to the final little you know, bunker, and it is going to be actually on the mountain, where we're returning to the mountain, yay! So, here it is, here we just came from the shipwreck, and here is that obscene shape that I don't want to talk about. And to actually understand what this lecture from Robert Rupert Spira is talking about, the lecture is called A Lesson in Non-Duality, if you want to check that out. We have to, go to, but to understand this, we have to go to an interview from Jonathan Blow, who was actually created this game. And basically, he says that one of the aims of the game is to cultivate the presence that witnesses oneself seeing the world. Basically, in Taoism, there's this belief that the witness, or the witness consciousness, is a part of ourselves that observes, and only observes, without judgment, our actions and emotions. Basically, in this game, everything you are doing, you have to acknowledge the fact that you are witnessing it. You are there, and you are. You have to understand that you are there in the presence, witnessing all of your actions and emotions. And if you don't have any judgment throughout all of that, if you're able to be oneself with what you're witnessing, and actually not start to create opinions on it, then that is the only way that you'll be able to solve these puzzles successfully. Some puzzles, yes, are harder than others, are easier than others, but all of them, you are witnessing them, and only you can understand what they are. Well, that's at least my interpretation. This one is probably one of the most complicated ones. Of course, the last one was an hour long, but this one, it really, really holds a deep belief or a deep, you know, ideology because it connects to the title of this game. Have you ever thought why this game was called The Witness? Because it is you. You are the witness in this game. And you are trying to witness everything and trying to be non-judgmental and instead to look from different perspectives to actually solve the puzzles. And that is exactly the aim of this game and why it is called that. And this lesson was pretty deep. But now, let's move on to the sixth and final video clip. And the last, last, last secret bunker, it's somewhere on the mountain. It's not at the bottom, it's not at the top. Where could it be? Actually, you might have missed it while you were going along this path, but it is somewhere on your way to the mountain. And as I'm ascending, I'm going to try to find it obviously but yeah it's somewhere here there we go see 
the rocks are positioned in such a way that if you can just walk right past it and seem like nothing happened at all. But no, here is the last one of these vaults. I don't, yeah, what would you call them? Vaults? Things? Blah, 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 jingies? So yeah, let me solve this one real quick and I will get back to you. Now actually, something you may not realize when solving this puzzle is that there is actually an invisible symmetry puzzle. When you're solving this, you are the blue line, and you collect the blue little pieces. But yeah, there is a symmetry puzzle. I'm pretty sure somebody else starts here from the top, or, you know, not somebody else, really you. But look at this beautiful view at the ocean. It's really empty. But here we are, the final little briefcase. Ta-da! And yeah, I don't know what shape this one forms. The last one formed the very questionable shape. This one is actually pretty interesting yep yep so i've got that in my mind i've got that written down so now we're gonna go back input this last one see what the video has to hold for us but well, before we do wow wow again this game mwah, chef's kiss and here we go here's this final solution and again just like all the last ones i will analyze it and i will give you my interpretation of it because Wow. If you want to, again, if you want to interpret this in your own way, go ahead and watch this. I will, I will tell you the title after, after this, uh, give it this little short interruption. And finally, this last video clip, it is a lecture from Gengaji. She is a spiritual, basically, teacher, and she's talking about mindfulness and understanding where you are in this moment instead of trying to look into the future. The main thing that she's saying is stop looking for you want for what you want because a lot of the time people are just looking forward into their dreams and never actually realizing where they are at this point. She keeps saying that who you are is always fresh, not new, but fresh. It's you your interpretation of yourself that's a, that's a lot. What you think of yourself, you sh that shouldn't be the, your image of yourself. If you could just stop for a moment thinking about your hope if you, and that's a real challenge, she says, if you can accept that challenge and just stop for a moment to stop thinking about what you want and instead about who you are, then that will definitely give you a new perspective on life. You should be mindful about where you are in the moment, and only then will you truly be able to reach your goals. Because if you keep just creating an image of yourself instead of actually understanding who you are, then who are you? If you don't understand who you are, how will anyone else? Because everybody will just keep making interpretations of you just like you are. So you need to understand yourself. You need to stop looking to the future for a moment and practice some mindfulness and say, this is who I am, and then this is where I want to be in the future. Because then, knowing yourself is much, much more powerful than wanting anything in the world. Understanding who you are is much more powerful than understanding what you want. And I think on that note... It's a very, very powerful message to leave this on. In this episode, I had to do a lot of research. I had to listen through these. Through, yeah, first of all, I had to find the bunkers and find the solutions. But to listen through all of this and actually understand, wow, some really powerful messages. We learned about mindfulness. We learned about the witness and how you are, and how you are witnessing everything in your life. And it's important to be non-judgmental. And we learned about, uh, what else did we learn about? We learned about game creation and love and all of that wow this episode was a blast and i am very happy if you were able to stick through and i really want to hear your opinion on these things i've shared the title of everything in this episode i've shared the title of all these video clips so i'm not gonna i was i didn't show you the actual video but you can go check it out on your own and hopefully you can in the comment section below you can tell me some of your ideas about you know some of these concepts because my interpretation might not be the right one, as we learned in the the very first one. But on that note, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. This is probably the end of the Witness series, and that's very, very sad because it's a beautiful game. It's, it's a very beautiful game. Even the secrets don't make it any better. So, like the video if you enjoyed it. Again, tell me in the comments what you thought of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, goodbye.